Hey, hey, Living Waters. It's Director of Ministry, Katie Weber. Um, today, we are gonna be talking about all things annual meeting. And um, I say that because the annual meeting is this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, I did just kind of go over the order of worship and the bulletin, and I do think we'll be starting right around 11 a.m. So if for some reason you can't be here for worship, you know, maybe you guys have a sport practice or something prior to uh, worship earlier in the morning, that kind of thing, but you do want to be here for the annual meeting, I do think we'll be starting right around 11 a.m. Um, the kids following worship will head down to the chapel where we'll have a movie playing. Feel free to bring them in their jammies, bring a blanket, bring a stuffy, bring all of it. Uh, that's up to you guys. <laughs> um, but the kids will be down um, watching a movie and we are really going to try and be very, very time efficient with this annual meeting this coming Sunday. So in order to be prepared, we are asking you to do two things for us. First, um, uh, three weeks ago during the informational meeting, the Constitution was presented. Um, and these, this is an updated Constitution. Um, Living Waters was last updated in 2014, so it's been 10 full years. Um, so we... There are some mandatory changes that need to be put into place that have come down from, you know, synod level. Um, so we did present those the three weeks ago, but if you could just review that document, it is linked in the e-blast. Um, it would be very helpful for you to have um, just a knowledge of what that document contains. Um, we do need to do a formal vote on it. So again, we're just trying to be really time efficient on Sunday. Um, if you are watching this video on a different platform, like not through the eblast, maybe you're watching it on YouTube or through Facebook or something, um, in the YouTube description, there is a link to sign up to receive our eblast, um, and that will get you where you need to be then to get, to access that document. So, um, do, if you're watching it on a different platform, that's an option for you to be able to review it. Um, second thing we are asking is the annual report is also linked in the e-blast. Um, we are asking you to just give that a glance, check it out. We will have paper copies here on Sunday. But just so you can kind of review all of the great things that we did in 2023, that will help make things go a little bit faster on Sunday. We do have a lot of votes. We have to vote on um, incoming council members um, and then we will be voting on our 2024 budget. Um, there were three different budget options that were presented in last week's informational meeting. Um, that was a, uh, you know, from what I was able to hear, it was a great meeting. Um, so lots of conversation and um, we are, you know, hoping to get that, well, we need to pass the budget on this coming Sunday. So um, we will kind of review those budget options and then do another vote. So there's a lot of like, a lot of voting that has to happen, which is again, why we're trying to be really time efficient. Um, we are starting, like I said, right around 11 a.m. Um, the agenda is on page four of the annual report. So um, you'll be able to kind of follow along. And then, gosh, I think that's all I have. One more reminder that, um, Valentine's Day this year is also Ash Wednesday. Um, I think this is like the second or third time that it's fallen on Ash Wednesday in recent years. Um, so just getting that in your mind in case you need to rearrange some um, Valentine's Day plans or something, um, that Ash Wednesday is the start of Lent and the start of our soup suppers and the start of, um, I'm assuming we'll be doing hold an evening prayer, but uh, yes, actually, I have that in front of me. I do know that. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of great things are coming up here in 2024. We just have to take care of the business of the church first. So uh, if you have any questions about any of this, give us a call. Um, otherwise, we will see you on Sunday. Um, worship is at 10 a.m. I believe there's adult Bible study prior to it at 9. So um, Soundwaves is singing this week. So very excited about that. And I really hope to see you all on Sunday. Yeah, so take care, be well, and God bless. We'll see you Sunday.